they say that, uh, that a picture is worth uh, a thousand words. It's a common expression. But in this case, the words make the picture. The words here describe the barrio because the link is with Picasso's very, very early days. The location is round the corner from Picasso's birth house in Plaza de la Merced. And because the location is in uh, Barrio Picasso, the faces, the theme became quite obvious. And in this case, it's um, six different faces of Picasso uh, showing him through the ages from a, a young boy through teenage years to middle age to later years and to the iconic face as we we tend to recognize these days of Picasso as, a, as an 80 plus 80 year old man. I started using this technique um, a couple of years ago when I moved into uh, this part of the world, into Spain. I don't claim to be original totally in this, uh, but that's the same with all forms of art. Um, nothing is completely and utterly original. Each letter of each word could become a pixel. And uh, as we know in today's modern world, uh, everybody looks at screens in their lives, one screen or another, a television screen, a computer screen, a smartphone screen. Everybody looks at pixels, everybody looks in the same, in the same way. I started producing these, these pictures of um, well-known faces. Lorca, Leonard Cohen, Picasso, Dali, and uh, trying to find something to say about these people. It, it's, it's not difficult because they had an awful lot to say about themselves and, and lots of people have written about them. So the subject matter was easy. You, you have the face or faces and also there is a message, a phrase, something that people can, can read and uh, understand and think about rather than just having the face. So we have this um, doble sentido uh, in these works of art. The absolute joy, and this is what you're referring to at the end, is um, when you're painting and you know that it's working and you stand back and then you can see the image emerging from all the squares, from all the pixels. You know that it's working and it, it gives you a, a, a real thrill, it's a, it's a real buzz in, the, in that whole process. These things don't happen quickly. It becomes your, your life for two months maybe, three months, depends on how, how big the mural is. Um, but there comes a point where it becomes so habitual and you know that you're heading towards the end of it then you tend to slow down because you think I don't want this to finish it's it's a nice process it's a lovely lovely process it's comfortable and um, if I finish what am I going to do next it's a <laughs> it's a panic these are public pieces of work they are they are in locations where um, anybody can see them so they are aimed at absolutely everybody. Some people find these works of art um, more easy to understand than others. Um, some find it a little bit harder and it takes a longer while for their um, eyes and brain to work as a team and, and focus to understand the meaning. But yeah, it's for everybody. It, 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 it's, it's urban art, it is street art, but it, it's street art with a difference because um, words are used to compose the end product which is the face or faces of the of the subjects. <laughs>